living a tax life. You don't need to master the entire tax code, but you should master a couple sections. Section 121. What that says is that your house, if you live there for two years, you can uh, basically shelter the gain of a quarter million dollars as a single person or half a million as a, as a married person. That's a great angle. 1031 is an exchange. You don't have to pay the money on the taxes when you, when you buy something and sell something. Um, the passive investor. Be careful with that one. Do it the right way. But you can, I had a job for many, many years where, let's say I made $100,000, and I did, and all my peers did also. But I owned 20 houses as rentals, long-term hold, and paid not much taxes. They paid a lot of taxes. So with that extra money, guess what I did? I bought more houses, and I built a fortune that way. So you don't need to be a, a tax expert, but figure out like those three, three sections that really fit the investor. I'm looking at Karin right now, the, uh, the IRA. We should all have a self-directed IRA, a Roth, a regular one. These deals, I think Reggie was here last month talking about um, doing deals in your IRA. There's no reason not to. So those are tax issues.